Wagwan. Wagwan. Anything you say or do will be held against you in the court of law. Wagwan. Your your comment will be pinned so people can see how nasty you are, and I'm going to ride you indefinitely. Honestly, um, honestly, I'm realizing that like with Zeus Network and everything that this is really just like entertainment. So I really don't get my feelings like so and tied up in these things. Like I have to understand this is entertainment. I don't really get like my feelings tied up with these things because I have a real life. I have a real family and I have my friends already that I been around my whole life. So I don't let anything that's going on get to me. So I don't really want to fight anybody. But I know people want to fight me, so it's not a really big thing with me. I would really squash shit. I don't really have time to try to be like this person because I'm like my my supporters really love me. So besides the show, like I'm building a platform for myself, so I don't really have time. But I will fight somebody if they want to fight me. I'm not just gonna let somebody be like, oh, I'm gonna beat your ass, girl, please. But at the same time, it's like I'm not really the aggressor. I'm not really the aggressor. That's not my that's not my thing. So, me wanting to fight somebody at a reunion is a no. Like, I'm coming there to, like, talk stuff out, you know, at least have dialogue. Because when I watch reunions, it's like when they don't have no dialogue, it really be a waste of time. So, I think that a lot of supporters and a lot of people that do pay their $5.99 a month be wanting to see, like, okay, what can y'all really talk about? Whether than y'all just yelling and doing all that. And what can we really talk about to understand? You get what I'm saying? What can we really conversate about rather than a bitch just wanting to keep fighting and yelling? Nah, 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 That's that. I think that'd be too much because the viewers pay their five ninety nine to actually see what the fuck going on and hear point of views. We be wanting point of views. The people want point of views because if I before I got on TV and I see stuff like Love and Hip Hop, that's why Love and Hip Hop and all that was so raw because when they go through their stuff in the Real Housewives of Atlanta and you got people like Phaedra Parks and she doing her reads. They don't really be fighting. They be conversating, letting them, letting you know how they felt, letting you know like what they what what they what their opinion was about it. You know, you gotta talk through stuff. Like they want to hear talking, and, and I know that's what y'all want. So I'm not really an aggressive type of person. Like I be over it. I be over it. I'm not really that kind of person. And like I said, people just. Point, point me out to be this type of person that want to be fake. I don't have nothing to be fake about. I live a very good life. You know what I'm saying? I live my life with my friends, my man, my family. And I live a very joyful life. God has helped me so much. God has put so many blessings in my life that I just live a very peaceful life. I don't really look for negativity in my life. And anything that comes negative in my life, it triggers me. And that's when y'all get that quarter loop. You get what I'm saying? Like people trigger me. I don't I don't go out here looking for that and I don't you know. But that's just how I feel about that, but I just I just asked y'all to stop like talking to me about it because what happens is they screen record me. They'll screen record certain parts of things that you say and then upload it on TikTok and all these other things. And then you got all these other opinions when they're not getting the full the full conversation. You get what I'm saying? That's why I say, like, I don't really like when people keep trying to make me seem like this person or that person. That's what I said. But what I was telling y'all was about the sickness and how I don't play with my sickness. So I have people that can attest of what really happened. Because as y'all can see, and I had on this same shirt on the episode. I had on this shirt and I had on some little hoochie daddy shorts when we were all standing when they had that fight by the jacuzzi. I was the only one outside. I was the only one outside with no shorts on. I mean, with no jacket or anything because production had my suitcase production at my suitcase i had nothing to like put on i was literally cold as fuck and then y'all have to understand nobody was really friendly like that i don't know where y'all get all this friendly shit everybody wasn't really friendly like that so i was really bored when the cameras went off because nobody really talked to anybody like that so what i did was and 
Carry On could attest to this because I was begging Carry On to get in the jacuzzi with me. And I was begging Orlando to get in the jacuzzi with me. But they didn't want to get in the jacuzzi with me because it was cold outside. But I was so hesitant to get in the jacuzzi. And I got in the jacuzzi and ended up getting sick. That's when y'all see me with the robe on. I got really, really, really sick. My chest got congested and stuff like that. And when I went to the doctor, they was like, bitch, you could have got bronchitis. And you could have asthma. I don't have asthma. I was basically saying that they said that you can have asthma or you can catch bronchitis if I would have waited a longer time because, like I said, nobody cared about me. Everybody in the house thought I was just trying to, like, do it for TV and be fake and act like I'm just fake sick. That That's what really pissed me off, too. Like, if I'm coming to y'all and saying, nah, bro, I don't really feel good. Like, what the fuck? I really don't feel good. And everybody take... That's why I really can't wait till the episode come out. Because I really want to see what the fuck was being said behind the confessionals about my health. And if I'm telling y'all that I'm sick and everybody think that a bitch playing and all that, all that, that's what's really going to trigger me and make me pop the fuck off. Because I don't, I don't play like that. So I'm, wait, I'm actually waiting on the episode to see how people really felt and stuff like that about me, like, leaving the house and about me, like, telling them, like, you know, I'd rather be with my man. I'd rather do stuff like that. Um, if I look at somebody, like... If I'm starting to have a bond with somebody and I'm starting to have a friendship with somebody or whatever you want to call it. If you tell me how you feel, I'm just going to go off of that feeling on camera and off camera. If you have a conversation with me and you say, hey, like I had an argument with this person and me and this person don't get get along. And when it's when I see this person, I'm going to handle my issue, whether it's fighting or whether it's getting your issue off. I'm going to expect that from you. I'm going to expect that from you. I'm going to expect that from you. So that's what that was. I don't think nobody really gave a fuck about me being sick. And I think that everybody really thought I was playing games. And I don't play like that. I don't play like that. Like, I don't play like that. It ain't shit about me fake. I have nothing to lie about, bitch. I don't play like that. Like, bitch, y'all could go play like that and, and take that shit as, as a joke and all that. I don't play like that. And that's just that on that. Um, I don't address people that I don't have really much to talk about. So it's just like I don't really address people that I don't have much to talk about. People really like people like pick, 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 pick in the comments and they try to make something up. But y'all got to understand. Let me give you an example. You and this girl, you and this girl at work, y'all been had, she been had an issue with you, right? She really want to press this issue. She want to press this issue. She probably want to be your friend. But you just don't give her no attention. She pick, 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 and you don't give her no attention. So they have nothing to talk about. Because if I don't give you no attention, if I don't give you nothing to talk about, then there's nothing to talk about. So it's nothing to talk about. I have addressed, I have addressed, what's the name? Over and over and over and over and over again. Like, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know what to do. I've tried to conversate. I've tried to, I don't know why people keep trying to paint me out to be this person that just want like sympathy. I don't live for sympathy. Sympathy don't pay my bills. What's going on in the comments? Sympathy don't pay my bills. I don't want no sympathy. That's why I came home. I wanted love. I didn't want sympathy from grown ass men. I wanted love. I wanted to be around my men when I didn't feel good. And that's why I always merge back to the women because women feel where I'm coming from. If you get sick, what you going to do? You're going to call your man. You're going to come and call your man. Simple. Who fighting in the comments? Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Who fighting in the comments? Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, who? What girls? And see, that's that's gonna be y'all problem. Cause my wagwans tired of y'all ass. My wagwans tired of y'all ass. My wagwans see how genuine I am. They see that I'm just vibing. I'm chilling. I'm trying to conversate with them, show them some love. And y'all come in with that shit. They gonna eat y'all ass up. That's right. Who was raving love? Tag that hoe so I could pin her, so I could see a picture. Who is raving? 
Who the fuck is Raven? Who the fuck is Raven? It better not be that one from Disney Channel. Who the fuck is Raven? Who the fuck is Raven? Who the fuck? Tag her ass now. Come on here. My Wagwan's gonna eat your ass up. My Wagwan's gonna eat your ass. Who the fuck is Raven? What she at? Let me get her ass together. Tag her ass. Tag her ass. Tag that puta. Tag that puta. What that puta said? What that puta said? That's right, Wagwans. I love y'all. And it's going to get to the point where y'all going to keep trying to attack me and bother me. Y'all going to get to the point where y'all going to keep trying to attack me and bother me. My Wagwans going to get y'all. Leave Lou alone. Leave Lou alone. No, oh, there she go. Let me see her. What she look like? What she look like, baby blue 23? What she look like? What she look like? Oh, she done left. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. What she got to say? What she at? Raven love. Oh. What the fuck you got to say? Come on. Join the live, boo. It's your moment. Moment. They pulling shit out of proportion. I literally asked a question. I Wait a minute. Come a to the light. That was all. Wait. You in the bed naked? I'm in the bed oh, okay. naked. So, oh, you blew it out of proportion. Yeah. Yeah, they pulled out of proportion. Oh, okay. Asked so you must have came. That's been... all. Because just because the person talk like they're gay don't mean they're gay. Because my mom's friend, like, he talks like he's gay, but he's not gay. He has a wife and kids. So that's the question yeah, I asked. Yeah, baby, because I got to tell you one thing, Raven, my walk was is tired because, you know, everybody be attacking me. So for the future reference, when you come on, you got to come on with a little, you got to you gotta see the comments first before you make a comment because I just had a whole thing about me telling the people how I feel and that I am gay. So you get what I'm saying? My walk was there. Okay, hey, to you, Raven, hey. walk was. So you got to show some support because anything, anything you well, do or say fine. can be held against you in the quarter loo. Okay, so we... Good. I understand. Okay. But I love you though. Yeah, you I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And see, you gotta come on with a little bit more love, cause everybody don't see me eat people up. They don't be playing them games, and I don't want you to. Be... Okay. Yeah, all I right. Trying to get flipped. Now I ain't trying to get flipped like a go. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for the support. I appreciate you. You fucking them niggas up for real. <laughs> okay, girl. You said what you said. We appreciate you. Let's go. Thank y'all. Walk one. Raven says she ain't say nothing, man. We ain't go. One thing we don't do, one thing we don't do is we give everybody the opportunity to, you know, explain. You know what I'm saying? Because before I, before somebody make me look like the negative person, I gotta let you explain. You know, my good, my good girl Raven said she good now. She ain't got no problem. But that other pussy ass, so that rock star, well, it's her time to join the one that told me die slow. I'm poisoned for position. Here it go. The whole head of be off. And I appreciate Raven. That's why I love you. We give everybody a chance over here. Thank you. We not negative and we don't just come out the back talking that shit. She said, y'all give Raven a chance. She said that she was just asking a question. You know, people be joining in late. So she asked me if I was gay. We um, Y'all got to, my, my wagwans is to the point where I love y'all so much. They explaining that for y'all. We done been through this. They done seen my. My man Charlie, they done seen my life. They know how I feel about it and everything. So y'all come on, y'all ask any questions. Before y'all ask a question, wait a minute. Read the comments a minute. Get into it a minute. Okay? Get into it a minute. But we love you, Raven. It's no harm done. No harm done. But yeah, so I really was just coming on. The reason why I came on here is because I'm like, you know, Y'all my supporters. I love y'all with all my heart. Um, I don't call y'all fans. I call y'all supporters. I try to talk to as much of y'all as possible. I will be having a meet and greet very, very soon. I really want to just wait till I make 100K followers. Um, like I said, I started with 3,000 followers. When I started this show, I started with 3,000 followers. I think that my followers have been moving very faster than anything. Like, I got over 80,000 followers in two months, so I'm just really appreciative of y'all, and I love y'all a lot. I'm giving y'all the real. I'm giving y'all the funny. 
I have nothing to lie to y'all about. If anybody, if y'all see anybody to say anything about me, I'm very ready much to come on here and tell y'all what it is. I have nothing to lie about. I have nothing to cry about. And I want y'all to be the same type of way. I want y'all to live the same type of way. If anybody ever make you feel like you got to lie about your life or you got to lie about anything that's going on with your life, it's okay. Be, be honest. You know what I'm saying? Like nothing can make you or break you in this life. Nothing can make you or break you in, you li in this life. Whatever, whatever is trying to break you, you go as hard as you can as possible to overcome that shit. It's just a hurdle, baby. At the end of the day, it's a finish line after them hurdles, baby. You hop over one, it's going to be another one. When you get to that one, hop over that one. It's going to be another one, hop over that. Before you know it, you're going to be at the finish line. You're going to look back and you're going to say, damn, bitch, I got over them obstacles. You get what I'm saying? So don't never let nobody judge you. Don't never let nobody do anything. You get what I'm saying? To you to make you feel like you're not enough or you're not doing enough because when they come at me and they tell me i'm a liar and they tell me i'm this and i'm telling me i'm that i'm ready to come on here and be as transparent with y'all as possible because i'm an adult first i'm an adult before anything i laugh and i bullshit later you get what i'm saying i'm an adult before anything but i laugh and i bullshit with y'all later but i love y'all let's have a great day um, I got my nieces and nephews and shit in the house, man. They run around with dogs and peeing and shit. So I got to go take care of home in summertime. They eating up all my hot chips and Gatorade and shit. So I love y'all a lot. And I'll check in with y'all later. Mwah.